come here thinking there is a way out of this world for you. Let's do it. Challenge him to single combat. Win or lose, it's a way out. I'm going to need a gun. If you win, the table will honor its word. You will have your freedom. And so it begins. Last words, Winston. Just have fun out there. <laughs> so, you want to kill him? You're going to die. Maybe not. You want to kill him? I want to kill him. About you, Mr. Vic. I'm going to kill you. Aloha! This is Trinidad, the Island Man, your Island Man, coming to you live once again from beautiful Hawaii here on the island of Oahu, bringing you, yes you, the best movie reviews on the entire island of Oahu. And, well, I'm happy to say that John Wick 4 is finally out for the public to watch. Uh, this is the opening weekend, um, March uh, 24th, um, at all theaters, and, uh, Ooh, what is it? It's, uh, gosh, it's, it's nearly three hours. Uh, it's two hours and, and, uh, I want to say 50 some minutes. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but let me just say that it whizzes right by. It's almost nonstop action. And, uh, when it's not nonstop action, it is... Um, you know, very interesting, gives you a little bit more of the world, circumstances that people are in, etc. But I say too much. Remember our rating scale, shaka thumbs up, it's good to see, I recommend it. Shaka thumbs down, it's junk. I don't recommend it. And for John Wick Part 4, it is a strong shaka thumbs up. In fact, I'll give it two shaka thumbs up right now. You heard it. Two shaka thumbs up. If I had more hands, I would give it more shaka thumbs up. <laughs> uh, Keanu Reeves, once again, kills it, uh, quite literally, <laughs> in this movie, in this latest installment. Uh, perhaps, perhaps the last installment of John Wick. And, um, you know, this, this review will have a few spoilers but i'll warn you when i come to it uh but you know this very well could be keanu reeves last run as john wick um now this has an all-star cast returning as lawrence fishberg of course keanu reeves ian mcshane uh lance riddick Ah, you know, in his last role uh, before his untimely death of apparently natural causes uh, in real life, unfortunately. Great actor. I, you know, apparently he was on The Wire and several other shows. John Wick is all that I've known him from, but I loved him in 1, 2, and 3. And in the brief part in 4 that he has... Um, you know, gosh, man, I tell you, you know, he was taken way too soon. 60, ooh, ooh, <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, that's supposed to be the new 30 nowadays. Ah, oh, man, but um, I will say this without too many spoilers. Basically, you know, unfortunately, you know, for his last installment... Um, before his untimely death, Lance Riddick really unfortunately doesn't have too big a role in this movie. Uh, probably his biggest was back in part three, uh, where he fights alongside Keanu Reeves. Um, yeah, and in, in what seems to mirror real life, unfortunately, he, he, he dies, uh, somewhat early in this movie, unfortunately. Um... You know, and I, I'm sure that if they knew, if Keanu Reeves and the director had known that this was the last 
uh, going to be his last role, um, you know, of his life, they probably would have wrote it differently. Um, but without that knowledge, without that foresight, who, who, could, have, who could have guessed that? Um, he is the catalyst, catalyst that spurs, uh, you know, John Wick, along with many other things, you know, all of the events from all the way since, uh, you know, John Wick 1 through 3, you know, to complete uh, his task, his mission in trying to gain his freedom from the table. Uh, you know, the rulers of this Assassin's Guild throughout the world. Um, and I gotta say, you know, again, non-stop action once again. Um, you know, who, who else is in this? You've seen the trailer, Donnie Yen. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> the fight between Donnie Yen and Keanu Reeves. Excellent. Uh, whenever Donnie Yen is on screen, he amazes with his skill, his grace, his martial art prowess, and, um, you know, joining him <clears throat> is another martial arts great. Uh, Scott Atkins is one of the head henchmen in this movie. Um, you know, this is probably his biggest, biggest Hollywood feature that he's been in. Um, you know, I mean, and, and he's done you know, countless other martial art movies, starred, directed uh, some of them, um, you know, and he really knows his stuff. And so when him and John Wick are going at it, uh, it is simply amazing. Uh, and he's unstoppable. He is a force to be reckoned with. If anyone knows of Scott Atkins' work, uh, just think uh, Boyka, you know, working for the table in this. <laughs> uh, not, you know, beholden to any rules of the ring. <laughs> and you'll know what he's doing uh, in this movie. He's kicking some serious butt. Um, I do regret not seeing him and Donnie Yen go at it, but we had seen that already in Yip Man uh, part, uh, what was it, for the fi finale one. Um, <laughs> so that was incredible. And uh, he has not lost a step. So yes, all-star cast in this movie. Um, amazing. Um, I will say that I, I was... I wasn't disappointed, but I was surprised to not see Howley Berry make an appearance in this movie. I don't know... Um, you know, I don't know why she didn't, but her presence is felt in the movie by another character who uses a dog, uh, a German Shepherd, or at least a breed of such, uh, similar, um, who, you know, we don't know much about this mystery man named Nobody, but, um, he very well could be you know, an offspring of Halle Berry's. Who knows? <laughs> uh, he certainly has the dog handling skills. Um, so in that respect, you do kind of feel her presence. But I thought, you know, for sure she would uh, return or make an appearance uh, in this movie. I'm not exactly sure why uh, she had not. Um, other than that, uh, another missing person... Uh, that I had expected to see, especially since John Wick has to go through such things. Uh, his entire plan uh, is to challenge, uh, you know, one of the high table members uh, to single combat for his freedom, uh, to uh, get back what he had lost, and to finally be done of this life forever and to be, you know, left alone finally uh, by the assassins uh, everywhere. Um, to challenge them to old uh, single combat, single combat duel. Um, but in order to do so, he must 
regain his family name and title. The Russians uh, led that we had seen in New York uh, from Chapter 3 by Angelica Houston, I had thought would make an appearance again. However, um, you know, he goes to uh, Berlin to get back in with his family uh, and has to go through a trial uh, of both pain and, uh, <laughs> and torture um, and yet another uh, duel uh, to, uh, to accomplish said feat. Uh, but I, you know, but oddly enough, I had really thought that I would see Angelica Houston, but you know, I guess that's not really his family just works for his family, his Russian side of the family. Um, you know, as I recall from chapter three, um, but, uh, I did find her presence not in that movie a little strange. Um, you know, I would have expected again, just to see her make an appearance, say it a few words right there and then, uh, because you know, her Holly Berry, the roles that they had, they had, they were very powerful in chapter three. I would have expected them to make an appearance and say something in chapter four. Uh, but no, it's, it's moved beyond them. Um, and everyone in it who, you know, it doesn't miss anything but it just seemed a little odd to me. You know, you get you're so used to this. You know, you've been with John Wick for four movies so far, and it's been incredible each and every time. Uh, you know, you just expect to see the old gang hanging out again, you know. I mean, but even, even Ian McShane and John Wick, you know, as he's off doing his thing, uh, cannot be with Ian McShane all the way, but him, but also his presence is felt through the film and he is also there uh, to guide and give uh, advice to John Wick um, you know being you know kind of his mentor uh, in the way of all things of the table etc um, gosh <laughs> well what, what can I say uh, let me let me get a little bit more why does Johnny Yen come back Donnie Yen is not um, just like in chapter three, the other super tough assassin that John Wick had, uh, defeated. Um, uh, Donnie Yen's character is another top level assassin, a friend, in fact, of John Wick's, um, who had also retired making a deal with the table. Uh, in fact, very much like John Wick to retire but John Wick's activity has pulled Donnie Yen back in as they feel that he is the only man that can defeat uh, Keanu Reeves as John Wick. Uh, so as Kane, a blind assassin, swordsman, uh, still think very much, basically Kane, Donnie Yen is playing Daredevil. <laughs> uh, he is blind, but man, you know, he might as well be able, he can see better than, than normal sight, <laughs> being blind. Uh, let me just say that. Um, and uh, whew, and he, he just walks through people, uh, as Donnie Yen uh, normally does anyway. <laughs> um, but it is because they, the table threatens to kill his daughter, uh, is the only reason he comes back out of retirement uh, to fight his friend to kill his friend um in this movie uh so you know there's really no way that you know john wick understands that it's like well you know you you don't want to you know it's like oh family you know it's like it's this is almost you know i almost swear to god i'm making comparisons with uh fast and the furious was family you know <laughs> <laughs> but it just it just felt so much more powerful than any of the Fast and Furious, uh, you know, because John Wick, you know, his wife uh, trying to gain his freedom again for that, you know, the dog that was killed all those years ago, um, you know, left to him by his wife. And that was his connection to his family, his wife, um, her last gift to him uh, that started him, brought him back into the life that he had fully escaped from before uh, and now because of his actions of revenge um, 
Donnie Yen is pulled back into that and his family is threatened. So Keanu Reeves doesn't have any, any uh, malice towards Donnie Yen. Uh, yet, you know, the two are great friends that are forced to be at odds throughout this movie. And it is handled beautifully, excellently, uh, as two fabulous friend assassins, foes, would have it. Uh, and it is incredible, uh, <laughs> as I've said already. <clears throat> so, essentially that's it. That's the goal. Um, it goes... We start off in the desert. He goes and sees um, the elder like he did in chapter three, uh, trekking across the desert. But this time he seeks his ring and he seeks a way out. And when this elder, again, it's not the same elder. I wonder why they didn't get the, the same actor. They say he was replaced, you know, the, you know, who knows? And it's like, oh, okay, there's probably a lot of high rate of turnover in these assassin guild jobs like that. So, you know, who knows, right? <laughs> but again, that was another odd one like Angelica Houston not being in it. Um, like Halle Berry not being in it. It's like, hmm, you know, it just, it, I mean, it's not unusual and it's like, it, it, it's explained, but yet it's just makes you take a pause like, oh, I was expecting to see the guy from the last movie. And it's like, oh, you know, just to have that connective sinew tissue, um, you know, between the movies. But, you know, it doesn't take anything away. It just would have added and made it much, much richer again still. Not to say that it isn't a feast, uh, this movie alone. So <laughs> uh, you're definitely not missing out. It just would have, you know, been like a little bit sweeter, in fact. Uh, to have these individuals from the last movie step back into their roles. Uh, you know, because this does pretty much just pick right back up. It starts off in the desert after uh, Lawrence Fishburg, the, the Bowery King, uh, checks in on John Wick, who is healed, who is trained, um, and he's ready to seek out his freedom again, taking out whoever he needs to to accomplish that. Uh, and which is now this new elder out in the desert. And as a result of that, you know, the high table fears for its safety, gets Donnie Yen, pulls Donnie Yen back into this life to take out Keanu Reeves. And, you know, there it is, the main conflict of this movie as John Wick attempts to still win his freedom to regain uh, because as they find that Keanu Reeves, John Wick is still alive, uh, Winston, Ian McShane's character, is stripped of his hotel, stripped of his duties, um, you know, and in an attempt to, for John Wick to get his freedom back, to help his friend uh, regain his hotel and his credibility, he must take on single duel one-on-one -on -one with one of the high table members himself. Uh, but in order to reach that duel, basically half of Paris, France, is turned against him as a $26 million, uh, $40 million bounty is placed on his head. And Keanu Reeves, John Wick, has to fight every step of the way to get to this place in a limited amount of time in order to do this duel with the member of the high table. And you're on your edge of the seat all the entire way. Um, this is everything that you want out of this movie. Um, it is action-packed, adrenaline, uh, culmination of all of the movies and it ends satisfactorily um, with stay through the end credit scenes for a for a little uh, end credit scene that could mean a John Wick five 
maybe we don't know it hints at it very very strongly um or at least a continuation of the john wick world uh so definitely don't skip out of the theater too soon make sure you stay and watch till the very very end and you won't be dissatisfied again shotgun thumbs up john wick 4 i've rambled on enough about this uh without too many spoilers i don't think um oh, oh, oh. the fight scenes are incredible um absolutely wanted wonderful they go from new york uh, the desert, well, to uh, Paris, to Japan. Um, wow. Again, this is great globe globetrotting, assassin, action-packed. Mm. <laughs> Shock a thumbs up all the way. Check it out whenever, however you can. It's at all movie theaters right now. I'm definitely going to go ahead and check it out again this weekend and probably several more times down the road during its run at the theater. I expect strongly that this will be the number one movie for this weekend. Uh, it, it should easily make $100 million. Easy. Uh, if not more. All right. Mahalo and aloha.